everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to change a case owner within Salesforce. So let's go ahead and jump into the cases tab or object or whatever you call it. I'm going to go up here to the three by three. You might see it up here in the navigation bar, but I don't. So I'm going to search for cases and click on that. And then fun fact, you can do that anytime. You can, if you don't find something, it might just be quicker to search for it over there in the three by three to be able to find it. I'm gonna, so we are currently on the cases related list. I am going to select this little carrot icon down. I can change the owner. Currently the case owner over here, you can see the alias is J Doe. I want to change it back to myself. So I'm gonna select my name, send a notification email. That's always nice to do because then they are aware that they are now the new owner of a case and they can start working on it right away and they are not left high and dry when they have a bunch of cases that are overdue. So I am going to hit submit and I now own that case and I should be getting that email anytime now. Another way I'm going to go to a different list view so then I understand which ones are owned by whom. I'm going to change this next case over back to myself because it's currently owned by Jane Doe. You can click the change owner button over here if you don't see that. It might be down here as well with a little carrot icon. The other way that you can do this is by clicking the little person icon and then selecting whom you want to change to. Again, send the notification email. It's just one click. It will help them understand that they are now the owner of a case. I'm going to select change owner and there we go. We have changed the case owner. Now, if you're looking to mass change uh, a lot of cases, Maybe you have a couple of them that you want to change over or someone's leaving the company and you want to move over their cases to another person. There's not a great way to do this. You can have your admin or if you are the admin, you can go ahead and create a flow that's able to do this. Or you can do some data loader trickery, which I'm happy to create a video on it. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do that. But what you would do is using Workbench, you would get the case information like the case number, the, or the case ID number, the current case owner ID, uh, and then the, the ID of the person that you are going to change the owner to. And then in a spreadsheet, go ahead and change that owner ID from the previous owner to the new owner, which this, that's the trickery. Um, and then go ahead and upload that through the data loader. So it is a little tricky, but it works. I've done it plenty of times and it's never failed me. But that is essentially how you go ahead and change the case owner. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're feeling generous. We're getting close to 10K. If you want to learn more about Salesforce, you can do so and take the courses over on salesforceupskill.com. Uh, you can connect with me over on LinkedIn and Twitter. I'm Emily Call or Emily Call MBA on both platforms. So thank you so much and I'll catch you guys in the next one.